The kick is a low angle end over end kick. It's going to bounce and die. Jumping on top of it is Carter Roth. Good recovery there by Roth as that one went over the head of Cody Stoll, the starting tailback, and it kind of died where it landed. Well, and typically with dry grass, you don't expect it to really die. You expect the ground to be a little bit harder and take take a few bounces sideways. But the way he kicked it, it sort of spun sideways, and that's going to allow the ball to die a little bit easier. And just an excellent kick and excellent way of keeping that ball in bounds. Valley Catholic starting off with a first and ten by Coldwell Banker, Holsey Real Estate in Farmington, selling our community one yard at a time. Drop back to pass. Gags looking to his right, going to throw to the outside. Catch is made. That's Coldwood trying to outchuke his defender in coverage. Gets past him, but gets wrapped up right away by the Swarm. Thayer defense gain of five on the play second down and five to go it'll be very important for Skaggs to get into a rhythm early on offense nice little short pass to the far side of the field to get things going high snap handoff to the running back that's Roth he's gonna try and get some room he gets wrapped up taken down for a short loss on the play Loss of about three. This will bring up, as they gave him a good spot on the first pitch and catch. It'll be third down and about three to go for the first down. Valley Catholic working quickly, breaking huddle. Twins on the near side. Two receivers on the far side. Running back in the backfield. That's Roth to the right of Skaggs. Drop back to pass. Throw to the near side. That is caught. Let's see the spot. This is very close to a first down. It looks like the spot based on the officials. They're going to give it to him. They will as the sticks move. Be a first down for the Valley Catholic Warriors as they are continuing to work quickly here. Carter Roth in the backfield next to Skaggs as they're getting the play from the far side. It's Rollhouse and Keeley on the near side. On the far side, it's Bader and Cole Wood. Snap, drop back to pass is Skaggs looking to his left. Now he's going to look to his right, going to heave this one down the field. He's got Cole Wood. Cole Wood's got the football at the 20 yard line. 10 5 touchdown. Valley Catholic Warriors starting the game off quickly with six. Brilliant play calling there. They had the first down. They decided to take the shot down the field in great patience, Matt, being shown by the quarterback, Mason Skaggs. He was looking to his left. Nothing was there. Looked back to his right. Saw Cole Wood down the field. Hit him perfect in stride. Well, and that look off to the left brought the safety to that side of the field. And then Cole Wood, he can outrun just about anybody on the football field. And he just outran his defender there. No one to protect the cornerback in the, in the safety zone. And uh, Cole Wood takes it off from there for the score. Kick is up, and it is good through the uprights. And just like that, with 10.45 remaining in the first quarter, the Valley Catholic Warriors on the road have a 7-0 lead over the Thayer Bobcats. You're listening to the J98 Game of the Week. At Home Pools and Spas, we're your home for outdoor water fun all year long. Plan on saving hundreds, even thousands, while creating your own at-home vacation. We're making room for new inventory, and all in-stock spas must be sold. Say goodbye to wintertime blahs. Say hello to family fun. Home Pools and Spas. Come see us on the Outer Service Road just south of the Lettington exit on Highway 67. Or call us, 431 Spas. When it comes to family fun, there's no place like home. Warriors striking quickly on the fourth play from scrimmage. They have a 7-0 lead, and they're getting ready to kick off here. Doing the kickoff for the Valley Catholic Warriors will be Cole Wood. Back deep to return is Danny Gorham, the tight end for the Bobcats. Kick is to the near side. It is high, and that one is going to bounce out of bounds. So that will be a flag illegal kickoff out of bounds against the Valley Catholic Warriors. And here comes the Thayer offense. Just a minute 15 into the game and already, Matt, in a 7 nothing hole. Well, we talked about getting Skaggs into a rhythm early. The best way to do that, short pass, short pass, short pass. Well, they tried to run, and that didn't work. And, then, and so they thought, all right, we've done two for two on short passes. How about we go deep? And they did that, and Skaggs already kind of warmed up a little bit, was able to fire a perfect throw to Cole Wood on the run for the easy score. Ball is spotted on the near side, 35 Let's see what we get from the Valley uh, from the Valley defense against the Thayer Bobcat offense. They run a split back veer offense. They come out with nobody in the backfield with an H back to the left hand side right off the line of scrimmage. It's going to be a play fake on the jet sweep to Jet Haven and swallowed up is the quarterback Aiden Stone who tried to take it up the middle. Got maybe a yard on that play. Plugging up the middle, up the middle. Garrett McMillan Jr. Six foot one, two sixty four, nose tackle for Valley Catholic right there in the mess able to bring down the running back. Colton Kurtz was there too. He's 6'2", 239, so two very big players. 
hitting the quarterback, Aiden Stone. Only a sophomore. He became the starter about midseason. Zymon Langley, the backup quarterback, was the starter in the beginning of the year. He suffered an injury. Stone came in to replace him. They come out with three in the backfield, all in a three-point stand. The handoff is going to be to the left-hand side. That's Powell. He's going to bounce it outside, gets a bit of room, and finally gets wrapped up following a gain of about six on the play. A little trickery there from uh, from Aiden Stone, faking like he was throwing to the near side of the field when the run had already begun. And a good pickup there for Powell. Veer, that's what it's all based on right there is misdirection. You want the defense thinking you're going to go every which way with the football. They come out with three running backs in the backfield in a three-point stance. Handoff, it's going to be play fake to the far side. It's going to be an option. Getting wrapped up in the backfield, breaking a tackle, almost getting back to the line of scrimmage, and finally being taken down is Garrett Young, who got the pitch. Wrapped up by a couple of Valley Catholic Warriors that'll bring up fourth down, four and a half to go for the first. If one thing that Valley is really good at defensively, that's that's the exterior defense, the the speed on the edges, and Cole Keeley with that speed able to break up that play. Cole Wood back deep to return for the Warriors. The punt is a high, spiraling and deep punt. Caught at about the 29-yard line by Cole Wood. He just goes forward. Now he's going to juke back, go to the far side, cut it up, get wrapped up. Flag comes in late as he's taken down. Didn't get too much yardage there as he had to back up a little bit. Ball is going to be spotted. It looks like about the 36-yard line. Coldwood, very lethal punt returner, has two punt return touchdowns on the season. Going to be a face mask against Thayer. That's the foul. So this will be an extra 15 yards for the Valley Catholic Warriors, putting them in good field position. Not an ideal start, really, for Thayer. You, you give up the quick score to Valley Catholic, and then you yourself go three and out. And the last thing that Coach Weber is going to want for his defense to do is to have to be out on the field for more than six minutes a time per quarter. If Valley Catholic keeps on scoring quickly, though, I guess they really won't be. The best defense against the Valley Catholic offense is your own offense. Keep them off the field. Trips to the near side. Lone receiver on the far side. Stole in the backfield. High snap. Handoff to Stoll. He runs forward. Gains about three on the play before getting wrapped up by Thayer. We'll bring up second down and seven. We'd like to thank a few of our sponsors, St. Genevieve Care Center in St. Genevieve, Dwayne Doza Auto Body in St. Genevieve, and Meyer Shoe Store in St. Genevieve. Valley taking their time here. They like to work no huddle. Second down and about six to go for the first down. They line up with trips on the near side. Bader is the outside receiver. One on the far side and running back in the backfield to the right of the quarterback, Skaggs, is stole. Play fake. Skaggs is going to keep it up the middle himself. Got maybe a yard as he gets taken down hard. Wrapped up by a couple of defenders by the Thayer Bobcats. Uh, Dawson Russell in there on the tackle and Jordan Gower in there as well. Last week for Valley against Haytai, five different ball carriers on the day. Already three so far tonight or this afternoon, and it's going to continue to grow with Cole Wood and Rollhouse yet to have a carry. Tyler Bloom checks into the game. He's the receiver on the near side. There's three on the far side, two on the near side. Skaggs dropping back to pass. He's got all day. He's going to throw down the field, and that one is too far. Overshooting his receiver, Tyler Bloom, on the post pattern. Does it bring up fourth down and long, and there's an injured Thayer Bobcat on the field. Can't quite see who it is. And, oh, no, this is not going to be good for the Bobcats. That is Jordan Gower, who is down on the field injured right now. And you know, he's one of the most impressive and impactful players on this Thayer Bobcat team. He's, his coach said he is the anchor on both sides of the ball. And he seems to be in a lot of pain as all the players have taken a knee on either side of the field. He's being checked out right now. And this is the last thing you want to see, you know, it is nice that you force the three and out against Valley Catholic, but you, right now you're about to lose at least for one play, your best player, and considering how long he's down, possibly more, Matt. Well, when you put all state next to a defensive tackle, you know that means he's very important to how, how they're going to play effectively on defense. And again, he's on offense as well, but at 5'10", 285, and a senior. So you've got the leadership aspect, and you've got the all state aspect and the size to go with it. And it's just a player that Thayer cannot afford to miss. He comes up, and he's walking off slowly, but it seems to be an upper body injury. He's favoring his right shoulder, I believe. I he's think, trying to judge and eyeball it from here. I think he just showed the coaches what happened. It looked like he bent his arm straight as if maybe his right arm got straightened out a little yeah, bit. Hyperextended, perhaps. Yeah, maybe he seems so. to be favoring the elbow as we get closer to take a look at that now. So we'll update you on his status throughout the game. In the meantime, 
We're anticipating a punt here from the Valley Catholic offense. The punter is also their quarterback, Skaggs. He's in the shotgun. He's dropping back to pass. He's going to throw to his right. He's got his receiver on an out route right at the line for the first down. It breaks a tackle, takes it forward for the first down. Coleman Keeley getting the out route, breaking off his defender who had him wrapped up for a second right at the line and taking it for the first. Two guys right there for Thayer had a chance to bring Keeley down and just could not do it. Keeley, broad shoulders, bouncing right off of him. Keeley, a big, strong player at 6'3", 215. Rolling to the near side is Skaggs looking down the field. He's got plenty of time once again. Now he's going to take off and run with himself. Lowers his shoulder and gets knocked out of bounds. Gain of about 12 on that run. Another good play by Skaggs, who... You know, even when Gower was in the game, he had plenty of time, Matt, and he has had all afternoon to make these passes. Some players sub in and out for the Warriors. They have one receiver on the near side, trips on the far side. It's Carter Roth to the left of the quarterback, Mason Skaggs. Skaggs claps, gets the snap. He's going to hand it off on a sweep to Roth. Roth tries to bounce it to the outside, gets wrapped up. Gain of half a yard, if that. This will bring up second down and long. 7.07 remaining in the first quarter. It's a 7-0 lead for the Valley Catholic Warriors over the Thayer Bobcats. Checking back into the game as he has been in and out for a bit is Tyler Bloom. He's the outside receiver on the near side. Rollhouse is in the middle, and it's Coleman Keeley all the way in the inside slot. Skaggs gets the snap. Those are the outside, and this one is picked off by one of the linemen on the far side. Taken down right away. How about the big boy? Proving that even linemen are athletes. He's going up and snatching that one out of the air. I believe that might have been Dawson Russell. Well, you know what they say. If you can't get to the quarterback by quarterback rush, throw your arms up in the air and see what happens. And that's exactly what he did and was able to pick it off. Yeah, it's a great skill for a lineman to have is when you realize you're not going to get to the quarterback, extend on the lineman, look through him, and watch the quarterback's eyes. You'll see when he's about to throw that ball and get your hands up. Sometimes you'll even get pretty lucky and get the ball yourself. So it'll be a Colwell Holzer Baker Real Estate in Farmington, first and 10. Dropping back to pass is the quarterback, Stone. He throws to the near side, caught, but taking a big hit. That is Chase Powell. Powell, the fullback in this lineup, takes a big hit there on the outside. This will bring up second down and nine. If you, want, if you want to define the perfect kind of football player, just take a look at Cole Keeley. He is all over the field already this ball game. He gets that 12-yard gain on the fourth down and four play, and he comes up and makes a big tackle in the open space. Yeah, Cole Keeley is the kind of guy you want on your football team. Plays all over on the defense. D-end, linebacker, strong safety. He's the leader of this defense. Dropped to pass is Stone, taking it out of the shotgun. He's going to throw it up for grabs on the far side of the field. Caught. Is he inbounds? It was a running back on the sideline. No, he is not. The official says Garrett Young, the tailback, out of bounds. Yeah, that one had a lot of air under it, Matt. I'm not sure if maybe Aiden Stone uh, got quite the grip he wanted on that football. Yeah, it looked like it kind of fluttered up there a little bit, and there's really not much wind, so it's not going to either kill the ball or carry it. Just a, a good throw, just a little bit too far towards that sideline. Yeah, and I think if he threw that a bit more on a line, that would have been completed for a first down. So this brings up third down and nine with 5.57 remaining in the first quarter. Snap, play fake, dropping back to pass. He's going to throw it over the middle, almost picked off by Skaggs. Looking for the running back, Young, going up the seam out of the backfield and just led him a little bit too much. Aiden Stone off on the pass, and Skaggs almost made up for throwing an interception by taking one himself. Great play action, got the defense to come up. But Valley Catholic, they like to run a safety about 15 to 20 yards off the line, and that's why Skaggs was able to come up and almost get that interception because he was playing so deep. Punt is a high and short punt. It's going to roll past the 40-yard line of the Bobcats, be down at the 42. So this drive will start in enemy territory for the Valley Catholic Warriors. We'd like to thank a few of our sponsors here on J98, the Boots. The UPS store in Festus, First State Community Bank in DeSoto, Festus, Hillsboro, Imperial in Washington, the Screen Spot in Festus, Kettle Hut Smokehouse in Crystal City and Sam Sism Ford Lincoln in Farmington. Valley Catholic Warriors breaking huddle. Two receivers to either side of the field. In the backfield, it is Stoll to the right of the quarterback, Skaggs. Skaggs claps, gets the snap, hands it off to Stoll, who gets met right away, and Stoll taken down for a loss. Taking him down was Remington Childers. 
And that is a big size difference there as Childers, he's the weak side defensive end, and Cody Stoll, 5'5", 133. A senior running back, that's a, as big as he's going to get, but a very tough running back, very much like a Darren Sproles type. He's small, but he's a lot more powerful than you would expect. And you also need to get him to open space, and right there, that run up the middle, not a good idea. Drop back to pass. To the far side, making the catch is Cole Keeley. Gets about two, but he's wrapped up right away and taken down. This will bring up second, third down and ten. So right back to the original line of scrimmage for the Valley Catholic offense. Mason Skaggs now five of seven in the passing game for 86 yards. And, of course, that one interception and one touchdown to Cole Wood within the first minute and 15 seconds of the first quarter. 4.42 remaining in the first quarter. Snap, drop back to pass on third and 10 is Skaggs. Looking to the far side, that is caught on the outside. Trying to get the first down, but take it down just shy is the wide receiver. That's Ryan Green with the catch. So this will bring up fourth down and short to go. And, you know, we saw the situation before with the Warriors. They were a little bit further back. They went for it. So I imagine we'll be seeing a lot of the same here for the Warriors offense. A break huddle. Trips on the near side as coming over is Ryan Green. He's the outside receiver, stolen the backfield to the left. 14 on the play clock. Trying to hard count. Defense not biting. Timeout taken by the Valley Catholic Warriors. So we'll take this timeout with them. The score, it is 7-0 Warriors on top of the Bobcats with 4.03 remaining in the first quarter. You're listening to the J98 Game of the Week. What is peace of mind? At Farmington Presbyterian Manors Assisted Living, it means you can worry less and enjoy more with a healthy balance of independence and support, plus access to quality care right where you live. So if you or someone you love is in need of extra care and attention that you can't get at home, let us help you find that lasting peace of mind. We now have openings in assisted living. To learn more, call Presbyterian Manor today at 756-6768 or visit FarmingtonPresbyterianManor.org. Together, we'll find the answers. Valley Catholic Warriors break huddle. They're up 7-0 right now and have fourth down and one to go for the first ball spotted at the 33-yard line. Valley in the backfield with a fullback in front of the quarterback and running back. It's going to be a keep by Skaggs, following the play fake. He's got the first down and then some more. Taken down at the 26-27 yard line, depending on the spot. And that was actually Cole Wood back there, and we saw this a lot last week against Haytai. Cole Wood with two blocking backs behind the tackles on the right side of the line. Cole Wood just running straight ahead for the for six yards in the first down. He's still out there, so sticking with his Wildcat formation, he gets the snap, runs forward, stumbles a little bit, still going, and finally gets tripped up at about the 15-yard line. Got the ball all the way to the 14 before making contact with the ground. And let's see if they keep up with the up-tempo here. This seems to be catching Thayer off guard a little bit. They're not sure how to handle this. Cole Wood in the backfield. Same formation with the tailback to his right as well as a fullback in front of him. He takes it himself, goes to the right, sticks his foot in the ground, goes left. Now he gets taken down. Gain of about seven on the play. Valley Catholic Warriors, they're keeping their pedal to the floor here. Not giving Thayer any chance to sub in and out or adjust to this new formation that they've come out with in this game. Same formation with the Twins on the near side. Wood gets the snap, looking to his right, remaining patient. Now he's going to dive forward and scamper into the end zone for the score. Cole Wood with his second score of the game with 3-11 remaining in the first quarter. It is a 13-0 lead for the Warriors. Extra point coming. The thing about that offense that Coach Nagger runs, and he doesn't even know what to call it. He just, he just kind of put it together uh, last week before the Haytai game. But the thing about it is Cole Wood will never pass out of that down. It's always going to be a run. So it's a matter, uh, it's, it's all up to the defensive line, the interior defense for Thayer to be able to stop it, and they just couldn't do it there. Snap is down, kick is up. It is no good, wide right. So the score with 3.11 remaining in the first quarter, it is the Valley Catholic Warriors 13, the Thayer Bobcats 0. We'll take a break and return with more of your J98 Game of the Week. Farmers Mutual Insurance Company in St. Genevieve has been serving families in the area for over 115 years. Whether you need insurance on your home, mobile home, farm, or where you rent, Farmers Mutual Insurance Company can help. That's Farmers Mutual Insurance Company on St. Genevieve Drive in St. Genevieve. Call for a competitive quote at 883-3520. That's 883-3520. Farmers Mutual Insurance Company in St. Genevieve, a hometown company with hometown values. 
So the Warriors up 13 to zero following the second touchdown of the game from Cole Wood. He has a running touchdown. He had a receiving touchdown earlier, one away from the trifecta. Wood kicks this one. It is a high kick. It is off the shoulder of one of the up men and out of bounds. Flag on the play, but that hit one of the players for Thayer. That should not be a flag. Ball comes down out of bounds. Let's see if they wave this one off here. I imagine they will or should. It's going to be good field position for Thayer anyway as the ball was touched and then went out right about the 35-yard line. And the officials are huddling up right now. That's what they're discussing. Well, and the kick came to the near side where Thayer is lined up on the sideline. And they're not going to talk to the referee and say, hey, our guy touched it. Yeah. They're, they're going to they're let them figure it out for themselves. Flag is waved off, so the ball will be spotted on the near side, 35-yard line of the Bobcats. Again, still good field position. Touching it, the upman was Braden Huffstedler. They're huddling up right now. Play coming in from the sideline. We'd like to thank a few of our sponsors. Tower Rock Stone in St. Genevieve, Marzuko Electric in St. Genevieve, and Lambert's Cafe in Sykeston. So far, six plays, a total of eight yards for the Thayer offense here in the first quarter. Shotgun formation, one on the near side, two on the far side. Snap, quick hit on the outside. That's Jet Haven with the catch. Short gain as he's wrapped up right away, picking up about two on the play. That is Tristan Rollhouse with the tackle. Good open field tackle by Rollhouse. Looks like Coach Weber wants to do the same thing for Aiden Stone that Coach Nagger did for Mason Skaggs. Let's get those short, quick outs to the receivers and let them try to make guys miss. But again, Valley Catholic, very disciplined defensively and very good at tackling. One of the one of the reasons why they're one of the best teams. Year in and year out, Valley Catholic, a very, very talented team. Snap, it's going to be a pitch out of the Veer formation. Hand off up the middle. Short gain on the play, maybe one as Garrett Young ran right into a pile of defenders. Remington Childers on the right side of the line. Uh, coming over with a delayed block, just didn't get there in time, and that's why the Valley Catholic defense able to fill that hole up rather quickly on the right side and make the play. 2-12 remaining in the first quarter and counting. Third down, about five and a half to go for the first. They break huddle. One receiver on the far side. That's Austin Bowers and three running backs in the backfield. It's going to be a play fake. Roll to the far side for the quarterback, Stone. He's going to lob it down the field. That is through the hands of his wide receiver. Danny Gorham was the intended receiver on the play. That one is incomplete to him. He would have had the first down had he pulled it down as he was running about a seven-yard out route, more than enough for the first. And Danny Gorham at 6'2", 165. At 6'2", Stone put it right where only his guy could go and get it. Unfortunately, just off the fingertips, maybe slightly too high. And, of course, with the defensive pressure all over Gorham, not much room to make that catch. Three and out, the third one of the game. Punt is dropped, picked up as there was no pressure on him. Cole Wood calls everyone off with the poison calls. They had plenty of time, the Bobcats did, to get down the field. It is touched at about the 27-yard line of the Valley Catholic Warriors. So fortunately for the Bobcats, the Warriors don't really apply a ton of pressure on their punt return team. They mostly focus on setting up the blockers for Cole Wood. As we mentioned before, two return touchdowns on the season so far. He's lethal back there because that gave the punter for the Bobcats, uh, Tim Patton, plenty of time to get that kickoff. And most of the time, the punters are panicking at that at that time when they lose the football, but not for Patton. He had plenty of time to get that one away. Empty formation, trips on the near side. Skaggs going to roll to his far side where he's two wide receivers, and that passes through the hands of Tristan Rollhouse, incomplete. Second down and 10 yards to go for the first. That was a case of trying to run without the football, without making the catch first. Rollhouse a little antsy there. Had that one little cutback that if he made that catch, he's, he's definitely going to pick up the first down. But, of course, you can't pick up yards without having the football in your arms. Yeah, started to lean downfield before the ball even got to him. Skaggs in the backfield. He's going to send Coleman Keeley in motion, creating trips on the far side with the empty formation. He's going to roll to that side. Flag down the field. Caught by Keeley, who was in motion, running the out route, breaking a couple tackles, breaking a few more, taken down. He's got the first down, depending on the foul. Let's see, the flag was down the field. It could be... It's in the area of defensive pass interference or defensive holding. Certainly could be on the offense as well, so we'll wait and see. It's going to be holding against the defense. So it'll be a first down for the Valley Catholic Warriors. They still have yet to accept or decline. Now they're moving the sticks because it is a first down either way. 
And that'll be a first down. They accept it, so it's a gain of 15 on the play. First down nonetheless with 127 remaining. It is a 13-0 lead for the Warriors on top of the Bobcats. Valley actually doing a really good job of getting some offensive yards on the perimeter. We, we came into this game thinking maybe Thayer's outside defense was going to be better than the inside defense. And, and Mason Skaggs and Coach Nagger, they're not afraid to go to the strongest point of Thayer and make it a weak spot. Yeah, and they're dinking and dunking them throughout this game with a lot of short passes early on. Now the officials are going to discuss. They're discussing the spot because where the ball is lined up is not match where the sticks are lined up. <laughs> now they adjust right. the sticks. Ball is just shy of the 50-yard line. It is on the Warriors 48. So they're two away from entering enemy territory. So here we go. It is a first and 10 for the Warriors. Skaggs collapsed. Gets the snap. Looking to his left. He's going to throw to his inside receiver. Cole Wood cuts it up the field. He gets a first down. Nice vision by Cole Wood. The defense is playing off coverage against him, so when he caught the ball, still had a little bit of room to work with, saw the lane and looped underneath for the first down. This Valley offense is going to be basically impossible to stop if they keep on going to those short routes. And Thayer's, Thayer's worried about the deep ball. I mean, we saw it. Cole Wood, 63 yards for the first score of the game. That pass alone makes the defense play a little bit more further back, and that's why Valley has so much room near the line of scrimmage. Twins on either side. The tailback to the left is... Stole, fake to him. It's going to be a keep up the middle by Skaggs who gets taken down. Loss of one on the play. And I misspoke earlier. The interior, interior defense actually is the strength of Thayer. So Valley Catholic doing a good job of going away from the strength of the Bobcat defense. There they tried back up the middle and again nothing. Twins on either side. Snap rolling to the far side is Skaggs. Throws it down the field that is almost picked off right through the hands of Aiden Stone, one of the three safeties that they play in this system. If two outside safeties play a little shallower at a center field safety and Kyle Bowers, Aiden Stone, the quarterback, almost taking that one himself. This will bring up third down and 11 to go. Clock stop with 37.7 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Twins to the near side. Twins on the far side with a running back to the right of the quarterback, Mason Skaggs. Skaggs drops back to pass, looks left. Now he's going to look right. Going to roll to the far side. Flag in the backfield. Throws it down the field. It's caught by Cole Wood on the far sideline. Wood breaks the tackle, takes it forward, taken down at the 29, the 19 yard line. So let's see. I believe this is going to come back. It is a holding against the offense. I believe they may have gotten Dalton Kurtz or Garrett McMillan with the hold. Jordan Gower, I was going to say before, right before the play, but Valley moving rather quickly on offense. So I was going to say before the play that on a third down and long or a fourth down and long or second down and long, it's important that Thayer get good pressure in the backfield. And Jordan Gower was applying that pressure. He gets held up to allow Skaggs to be able to roll out and pick up the first down. But, of course, the official right there in front of him able to throw the flag, and uh, it's going to hurt Valley. Jordan Gower checking back into the game off of his injury from before. Great to see him return. We'll have to keep an eye on and see if he's favoring his arm at all. Valley still getting the right personnel in. Looks like there's some tape just above the right elbow of Gower, also along the forearm. So hopefully, I, hopefully that will be enough to keep him healthy enough for the rest of this game. The Warriors take a timeout here, 25.7 remaining. They have third down and 38 yards to go for, excuse me, 28 yards to go for the first down. Ball is spotted all the way back on their own 42 now following the holding penalty. There's a big opportunity here for Thayer. You don't want to fall behind down three scores in only the first quarter or early in the second quarter, even if they hold it off for that long, especially when your offense still has yet to get a first down. And certainly when also you've only scored six points in your last matchup. It is a 6 nothing shutout over Ash Grove for Thayer. But also on third down and 28, it will allow you to go ahead and actually play that prevent defense. But now it becomes more important for you to make good tackles in the open space. So we'll see what defense Coach Weber goes with here. But pressure is not necessary. They break huddle as they return following the timeout. It is a trips 
almost a bunch on the far side as they're playing rather close. Not quite bunched up together, though. Lone receiver on the near side is Tristan Rollhouse. Skaggs dropping back to pass, looking to his right. Now he's going to throw it deep down the middle of the field. It is dropped by Cole Wood. Cole Wood was going to catch it right in between the sticks. Had enough room to run for the first down, maybe even more. But it goes right through his hands. Brings up fourth down and 28 to go for the first. Cole, I imagine we'll see a punt here. Cole Wood able to beat Aiden Stone on the inside route. And wow, I mean, that was so close. Right off the fingertips, just a little bit behind Cole Wood. Again, Cole Wood, a very fast guy. So Skaggs is going to have to catch up to him with those throws and just was a little bit behind on that one. So the punt unit out here, Skaggs deep two punts. They're playing punt protect, anticipating the rush. Snap is high, it is kicked. It is a very high and deep spiraling kick. Goes past the returner, rolls, rolls, will it die? It goes, hits the pylon right at the corner. Did it touch out of bounds first? They're gonna say, still waiting for the official. It is down with a hair difference between the end zone and the field. Officials are discussing right now. Now it will be a touchback, there we go. That one was rolling right along the line of scrimmage, uh, right along the out of bounds line. And that hit the pylon and it was so hard to see from anyone's angle whether or not it hit out of bounds first or hit the pylon because it kind of rolled right into it. Yeah, you rarely see that ball roll that close to the goal line and the out of bounds line simultaneously. And I couldn't tell who that was on the return. Maybe it was Stone, but had a lot of confidence in that ball. Uh, rolling towards the end zone and it almost didn't pay off. Yeah, he thought that was going to go into the end zone almost out of bounds at the inch yard line. So it'll be a first down and 10 to go for the first with just under eight seconds remaining here. They're going to go with three receivers on the far side. Lone running back in the backfield. It's going to be a handoff to Young, the tailback. He spins off a tackler, gets taken down, gain of one on the play. And that is how the first quarter will end. So we are through one full quarter of play in the Valley Catholic Warriors leading so far. They're up 13 to nothing over the Thayer Bobcats. It's the state playoffs on your J98 game of the week. <laughs> 